Nicholas happy because Hillary Clinton is winning and I healed my tooth issue with garlic alone garlic baby I just had to increase the doses a little bit that's all I had to do you know and then I have a lot of people hating me and they, a lot of people want me dead, you know, and then I get very angry. I feel the energy of that, you know, particularly at night. They can't hurt me. It's just that the energy from their hate triggers my ego. <laughs> and when my ego is triggered, because I'm alive too, I'm a living being, I have an ego. We all have ego, all, all of us, including the Buddha. So when my ego is triggered, then... I experience anger and my, when I experience anger I experience stress and when I experience stress all I have to do is increase the doses of garlic and just do four times that amount and it worked and I also put a cotton swab soaked with Dr. Schultz's, Dr. Richard Schultz's anti-infection formula. You want to put that on and on the affected areas, on wounds or on infections. And that will definitely take care of it. Baby, he's a little bit overheated right now. I don't know what. So we just got here and he always gets excited and then he has a little trouble breathing when he gets excited because he has a bit of a, an esophageal restriction and I'm very worried about this but that happens a lot in old age and um, also from the past of pulling too strong on the collar on the leash and um, I, that's why I am no longer using a collar. I'm no longer using a neck collar on him. And I will not use a neck collar on any dog anymore. Okay, so and I recommend that for other people as well. Because what if the dog all of a sudden freaks out and pulls too hard and you have to restrain your dog because you don't want your dog to get in trouble get into a dog fight or something. So that's why we have to use harnesses. It's very important to use either chest harnesses or head harnesses. Head harnesses are very effective in preventing the dog from pulling because it has a sort of like an effect like a halter for horses and it will create a mild pressure on the, on the back of the nose, not hard, but enough pressure so that they will not move forward. And so that's what we have to do from now on. And I just got uh, showered with saliva <laughs> and um, that's good. Yes, uh, I love you. And um, so I'm going to get him a real wonderful chest harness. I am extremely relieved and happy and grateful and I feel empowered that we were able to heal ourselves with holistic means. First he got sick, then I got sick and we both made it through with holistic plant essences alone and no horrible pharma, no antibiotics no liver harming substances just natural stuff and that is 
that builds your body up instead that's that that is full of probiotics you want pro pro body not anti okay we have antibodies but they are pro all life so we want pro all life substances that feed our antibodies that are antibody in a good way and we don't want antibiotics we don't want anti-life you know antibiotics are anti-life okay they're like pesticides they kill <laughs> so we want probiotics we want vegan life raw food to put into our bodies we want garlic life raw garlic to put into our bodies and heal us from the inside out okay and no one can make money on that no one can get rich on it and that's why no one wants to tell you okay but i tell you, you know, because i care so let's do it okay let's enjoy life let's enjoy healing I'm here with my kit camera right now. We are here in this beautiful place here that's also at the Pacific and it's beautiful and I'm happy to see all these beautiful beings. Great, thank you so much. Super, 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 super. And the apples are growing fantastic. And I see the ones that get sunlight. They're like about the, the quarter now. They're like this. And they are like deep red. Those apples. <sighs> I'm looking forward to fall and to eating, to harvesting. And blending i want to blend these apples now the mosquitoes are coming out Ooh. but i found for the mosquitoes i found some really amazing solution again as i told my friend lisa about diatomaceous earth um, diatomaceous earth is like that's like a, a universal healing material it's so amazing what you do is to prevent parasites and to prevent insect larvae like um, like the mosquito larvae from forming in a standing water. First of all, you want to get rid of all standing water that you have. You don't want uh, any worse standing water. And if you have a standing water somewhere like, let's say you have a small fish pond now get some frogs to put in frogs eat those frogs are very very necessary for our ecosystem and um, dragonflies also and all kinds of we need biodiversity we need as much biodiversity as we can possibly get okay and this is very important if you have a garden you don't ever want to use pesticides because pesticides ruin everything they destroy everything don't use those it's all they're also carcinogenic for animals and humans so it is it's a crime that a country allows the the, the manufacture and 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 sale uh, and distribution of pesticides in general okay it's a real crime and i hope that hillary clinton will remove those from the shelves at the hardware stores you know i hope that she will put a stop to it and that would be really really great i don't know if that's the case but that's what i would do if i was president i would immediately <laughs> I would first of all I would kick that guy that CEO of Monsanto out of the Department of Agriculture that that's that would be the very first thing to do I would say to him you are fired <laughs> and I hope that Hillary Clinton will do this and 
that's what and he they have a lot of leverage so they pay market psychologists to manipulate you guys out there and to make people like um Brocco witches look bad you know they want to make them look like they are all witches they are broken witches so <laughs> and i love Brocco witch i love that lady what an amazingly caring person you know i wish everyone was like her right? I wished everyone was like Paul Watson and Ingrid Newkirk and Peter Hammerstadt. So we need people like this. Very, very important. Okay? We want to live, right? The haters too and the, and the exploiters and the psychopaths. They want to live too. They don't want to poison themselves. They don't want to get liver problems. They think, oh, so it's easy, I just, uh, you know, I don't even want to say the, I don't even want to say it, yeah. So they think it's so easy, it's like, oh, you know, to have one body part replaced after another and with horrendous torture, uh, torture, horror movie procedures in hospitals. What you need to do is, you need to eat healthy, live healthy, and then you don't have to do this. You don't need to go under the knife, okay? You don't need to do live horror movie in a hospital. What? You can do living, healthy, happy, alive, vibrancy. Stay young. Stay fertile. Stay, stay loving. Become loving. You know? Put life into your body. And then you don't have to go under the knife. You know. All of those things I want to I want to encourage people. Don't use pesticides because they are extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Okay? There are many many of those have been outlawed in by the European Union. How come they are not outlawed here? Okay. So same goes with um, the solar cars. There are solar cars that are now distributed in Asia and Europe. How come they're not distributed here in the United States? And I'll tell you why. Because the oil industry has their feet in the door. That's why okay. they won't let, they don't want to let that happen until they have absolutely no, until they have scraped all of their greed out of the situation as much as they could have, possibly could have. That's what they want to do. On cost of their own lives, on cost of their grandchildren's lives, on cost of life in general. And, but they don't, like I said earlier today, they don't look at it that way. They don't look at this, the, the, the horror that they're causing with this. But you, the consumer, you can say, no, I, uh, I'm not participating in this, okay? I'm gonna buy whatever I can get here that is as ecological as possible, okay? So get a, get a Prius or another hybrid and demand from the car manufacturers to sell you a solar powered, solar electric car. Lolisa. So um, what I wanted to say is, first of all, can you see my hydrangeas? They're very, very beautiful, aren't they? And they're like a panacea for so many health problems and for animals and for humans. And so what I wanted to say is, do composting if you can. And um, when you have, so anyone who has a yard or garden, if you have an, an open standing water somewhere or like s any kind of standing water you want to remove this first of all and um, if you have like a little pond then you can't remove it but you have maybe f you should put frogs in it and other things that can eliminate the larvae of mosquitoes very important it's important not to have any kind of pool or pond that is standing without a biodiversity because then what happens is mosquitoes breed 
out of control in it and you, you're bombarded with mosquitoes and that's not good for animals and for humans. So, but what, y what you want to do is if you have a small garden and, and first of all, um, uh, you need to eliminate all the standing water. Like if you have buckets or if you have like an, an old bathtub or something standing there that's full of rainwater, you want to push that over and you want to get rid of that water. You want to turn those things over. Okay, so then if you want to have a rainwater collection of some sort and you want to collect some water, so what you do is if you want to use an old bathtub or a or an old bucket or something then what I recommend to you to do is also some raccoons drink out of it at night so they they need that, that very desperately you put water into a bucket and fresh water and also can use that to collect rainwater in it but make sure that you frequently put a cup of liquefied diatomaceous earth in it with it. So you put, let's say, um, for one bucket you use one very large rounded tablespoon of diatomaceous earth powder, mix it in into a cup with water mix that very well and then pour that into the bucket and then pour more water into the cup and make sure that all the diatomaceous earth is going to be rinsed out and into the bucket and then stir it a little bit in the bucket and the water will become a little milky cloudy and that is wonderful because then the water is saturated with those diatoms from the diatomaceous earth and diatoms they are microscopic algae petrified algae actually you know, that that are millions and millions of years old so that that are probably that they, they could be two billion years old so before life evolved so that's when there were a lot of a lot there was a lot of debris coming out from out of space and being drawn and attracted to the planet and many different types of meteors and and asteroids collided and so the more collided the more it drew stuff onto it and so many different types of things got attracted to it, many different types of metals and minerals and that's why we have different sedimentations of different minerals and different levels on in the earth crust. And then there were also lots of volcanoes, you know, at some point, also before life evolved. And um, so then minerals minerals formed and they started to get solved into water into got saturated into water and then all these salts got saturated into the water and then more and more and more water formed on the earth's surface that was basically the that was the foundation for life evolving so for the first amino acids and it's very interesting it's not scary <laughs> so a lot of people are afraid of this because they have been threatened by their parents but this is still a fact so that's why I recommend it to those people who are afraid of it yeah, the people in Europe are not afraid of it they know this effect but the people here they refuse this they don't want to hear about it because they're afraid that if they believe it they'll go to hell that's because they have been threatened. I think the Muslims too have been threatened like this. So, but it's still a fact, okay, that these things have evolved like this, and uh, it's been scientifically proven. And um, so, the diato diatomaceous earth had been that those were primal oceans, okay, and. Um, 
then they have they have sedi laid themselves into a sedimentation because oceans have dried and then other materials have been put on top of it through volcanoes which have created sodium bentonite which is also an amazing substance all these amazing substances that have have layered themselves onto the earth's crust and that we can use today for our healing because those are those are the the minerals and substances that gave basically gave the foundation for for life on earth okay so if we utilize these things they have been utilized for different things like cosmetics for example and now the healthcare industry the holistic healthcare industry is getting into it more and more and you know they do in the very expensive spas they give you body packs of those clays and facial masks and all kinds of amazing things and and massages with this and shiatsu and all kinds of fantastic stuff that is done so but these clays they can be put on on the skin and they can also be taken internally and they are extremely healing i'm doing this and i see amazing results I have strong fingernails and strong hair and um, good skin, you know, and um, very, very, very soft baby skin. The more I get into natural healing and the more I heal myself, the more empowered I become with all of this. It is absolutely empowering and encouraging and motivating the more you do the more you become motivated and the more you feel like you're in charge you know it's so fantastic and so i have been doing this now now at the other house i have put diatomaceous earth into kenny's drinking bucket that he likes to drink out of in the garden and I don't know if raccoons sometimes come and they might drink out of it and wash their hands and then the water gets murky. So if you have diatomaceous earth in it, that gets rid of all parasites and parasitic eggs immediately because sometimes raccoons might be infected with a pathogen like this. And our vet told us to, uh, that it is dangerous when the pets somehow get in contact with the particles from the wild animals because the wild animals can be infected with things. So we have to pay attention to, the, to that stuff. But it can be easily solved with a solution like this, you know, that is 100% natural. It doesn't hurt anyone. It doesn't hurt a wild animal. It doesn't hurt a pet. It doesn't hurt a human. It doesn't hurt a plant. So. It doesn't even hurt earthworms, which is absolutely fantastic because we need earthworms. The earthworms are super, super important to have and to th that the earthworms are healthy and, and vibrant. That's very, very important because they take care of the debris. Other critters too, like other bugs as well, take care of the the composting but the earthworms they are the major driving force with the recycling of compost of biomaterial into rich earth soil and then so i recommend a biodiversity of different plants particularly permaculture which means you get plants that are adapted to the climate zone that you're in and particularly if possible native plants that are already growing in your soil that you where your soil already has those seeds in it and the plants that really like the area where you are so that's the best and also get a, a wide variety also of edible plants like apples and berries and um, maybe wild strawberries or something like this so it's very very important to get um, those types of foods.
that grow naturally and, and the, the wider the variety of plants you have in your garden the healthier they, they will be and um, and so if mosquitoes try to lay eggs in the diatomaceous earth water what happens is the mosquitoes will be affected by this they will the mosquitoes will dry out because the diatoms these tiny microscopic diatoms the, the the fossilized algae will cut into the the membranes on the inside of the insects and so the 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 liquid inside of the insects will leak out and the insects dry out this is how it works with all of them and with all of them except for the ones that are very very important like earthworms they have a very thick skin literally and so they are not affected by this but we have to pay attention to uh, bees because we don't want the bees be affected by it. we need the bees very important those are the major pollinators we need them for food production so you don't want to put diatomaceous earth on top of a flower because that's where the bees go and the, bum the bumblebees and and some other insects that will that are pollinators they will go on the flowers so you don't want to you you want to stay clear of with the diatomaceous earth with in the areas where there are flowers so you only want to apply this to on the, into the soil like this will function as a uh, for example as a an lice um, control like aphids lice and stuff like this you know they will dry up the aphids and and other bugs that eat the plants but um, if you don't put it on the flowers then the bees will not get affected by this and they can still do their pollination and so yeah and so and the any kind of larvae that gets put into the open standing bucket that has diatomaceous earth in it those larvae will also dry up they will also be cut up on the inside and leak out so they will be made ineffective and and be killed so I don't like the word kill, but you know, in this case, there are certain certain existences that are parasitic in nature and that are kind of dangerous, and we have to definitely take care of those to protect ourselves. You know, that's how life is. You know, that's how, that's how life goes. So, and in general, I just love all beings. You know, I love insects too, but. Um, we have to, of course, take care of those that are dangerous, that could um, bite us, or that could cause illness, or that could inject us with terrible things, or that could yeah, cause uh, all kinds of horrible things, like uh, brown recluses, for example. We have to get, get rid of those. Uh, I always say, I'm sorry I have to do it, but I have to do it. You know, we have to do what we have to do to protect us. So, and, um, but besides that, want to take care of all the, all the beneficial life forms, you know, and make them all happy and thrive because we're all in this together. We're all interdependent from one another. So, and things are not perfectly orchestrated by any stretch and that's why we need to we need to be intelligent and we need to find elegant solutions to solve those kind of situations problems you know problem situations you get we have insects we have um, we have bugs we have pests and we have biting stuff and so what do we do about it without without poisoning you know and then we find amazing solutions and then we have moved ahead further and then we move farther and farther and farther ahead and we learn more and more learning is really the key in this learning is empowerment learning and finding out 
elegant solutions for life on earth this is so beautiful here so beautiful So I'm gonna do that. Can you wait there? I'm gonna do that here. I wanna advertise for Hillary Clinton. Okay, now this is upside down. <laughs>